Mr. Chairman, dear colleagues, thank you for the kind invitation. I am Carlo Romano, orthopedic surgeon from Milan. I have no disclosure concerning this presentation. Periprosthetic joint infection is a common reason for implant failure. It is among the first three reasons for hip replacement revision. Its diagnosis can be self-evident, as in this case. But in many other patients, the diagnosis can be extremely difficult. Low-grade infection may require a combination of diagnostic tools. Due to the time restriction in this presentation, talking about painful hips, we will then focus on a specific issue. Is there any role for imaging to diagnose a periprosthetic hip infection? Ten years ago, the definition of periprosthetic joint infection was first introduced by the Musculoskeletal Infection Society, chaired by Jay Parvisi from Philadelphia. This definition identifies two major criteria, the presence of a sinus tract or a pathogen isolated by cultures, and a series of minor criteria. No level of evidence or scientific validation was provided, and no role for imaging techniques was noted. Two years later, a large consensus meeting was uh, uh, organized by J. Parvisi and Thorsten Gerke from Germany in Philadelphia on periprosthetic joint infection. A new definition of periprosthetic joint infection was voted. In this definition, there were new minor criteria and new tests were introduced. But once again, no role for imaging. In question number two, the consensus, the delegates were asked to vote for the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons algorithm to diagnose a PGI. This algorithm only includes X-ray as an imaging diagnostic procedure to diagnose a periprosthetic joint infection. The output of the algorithm is infection likely or infection unlikely, but no role for imaging. In the same year, the Infectious Disease Society of America published its guidelines for the management of prosthetic joint infection. They also proposed an algorithm to diagnose PGI and only mentioned plain film of the prosthesis. Their output is infection suspected or not suspected and no role for imaging other than X-ray. Five years later, in the second international consensus meeting of Philadelphia, organized by the same Parvisi and Gerke, the definition of PGI was changed again. They listed me as one of the experts presented at that time, but really I was not there. In any case, the PGI definition was changed again with the new tests, new scores, but something remained the same, no role for imaging. If we look at the proceedings of the consensus, 
and search scintigraphy, bone scan, or nuclear imaging, the result is zero. In Europe, we have uh, this publication from Andrei Trampus, uh, a famous uh, infectious disease specialist uh, um, working in Berlin with Carsten Perka, who is the chair of the orthopedic uh, uh, department. They published the proposed criteria of the European Bone and Joint Infection Society. As you can see here, these criteria that uh, were not clinically validated and even not formally released by the EBJIS have no mention of uh, imaging techniques, uh, whatever. And this is strange because uh, in the same years, 2018-19, EBJIS published, in cooperation with the European Society of Clinical Microbiologists and Infectious Disease Specialists, and with the European Association of Nuclear Medicine, with the same co-authors that proposed the criteria of the EBJIS to define a periprosthetic joint infection, a paper in which they point out that the three-phase bone scintigraphy is highly sensitive to rule out an infection when negative, and that white blood cell scintigraphy is highly specific, especially when in combination with bone marrow scan. In 2019, finally, the WIOT, the World Association Against Infection in Orthopedic and Trauma, introduced this definition of periprosthetic joint infection, in which we finally have an inclusion of imaging techniques. Technician bone scan is identified as one of the main rule-out tests to exclude an infection, and combined leukocyte and bone marrow scintigraphy is considered a highly specific test and a ruling test. This definition has been validated in a large multicenter multinational trial published in 2020. This is one of the largest studies ever conducted to validate a PGI definition. So currently, the orthopedic community has this definition that includes imaging. However, there is still a strong need for a joint international consensus between orthopedics and nuclear medicine specialists to establish the role of nuclear imaging and not only for the diagnosis of PGI and other implant-related infection. I invite then all of you to join the World Association Against Infection in Orthopedics and Trauma that currently is the largest in the world with nearly 1,600 members from 99 countries not only orthopedics, but also radiologists, infectious disease specialists, and microbiologists. The registration is free, and I also would like to invite all of you to attend the first Congress of the WIOT that will be held virtually at the end of August this year. Thank you very much for the kind attention.